Good morning and welcome to uh, the morning meditation. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Today's guided meditation will be working and looking at focusing on being a, a healthy person. And I'm going to do this over two parts because uh, obviously there's, there's quite a bit involved. As always, it's, uh, let's begin by opening a sacred space around us, our Wurrakocha, which is our eighth chakra just above our head. So if you can bring your hands together into your prayer pose, just in front of your chest. Then on the next in-breath, breathing up, up, bring your hands up into this golden orb, the sun-like energy above your head here, just spreading our fingers and then taking us all around us. That's good. All around. Bring your hands together again and let's bring it up and over our own, our family, the class that's with us this morning, sharing this sacred space all around there now. Ah, let's do that, just feeling this peacefulness, this serenity as it surrounds. That's good. Relaxed. Good. Now we're going to do work with our death arrow, our fire stick. Just having a little piece of, of wood like this, you have a toothpick, a roll of piece of paper, and we're going to blow into here any of those negative thoughts, feelings, or emotions that we have, maybe that's keeping us awake at night, or things that have been going on in our lives. Blow them into here, and then we're going to release them, release them to the fire. You can do this now with me, you can do it later on, you can do it two, three times a day, depending on your situation that you're in. If you don't have your own stick, then you can use mine. Working with energy work, we work with intention. So you can blow it into this stick as well. So think about those thoughts or feelings, and then blow them into the stick. Can be two, three, four, even up to seven different thoughts or feelings if you want to blow them in there. That's good. If you have your feelings, thoughts there, blow them into the stick as we go along. In your own time, when you're ready, let's release them. Release them to the fire. Always being careful when working with fire. A little catch here, just in case. Always a different flame. Releasing. And thank you for my lessons that I've learned. It's time to let go, time to move on. With the fingers. It gets a bit closer, just allow it to back burn on itself. Last final release. Now. Sitting comfortably, sitting on a mat or a cushion, a chair, or even lying down, as long as your back, as long as your vertebrae, your energy centers are in alignment, and you're comfortable. Feel any discomfort at any time, change your position. That's good. Now it's just a 
Close your eyes, I just change the camera angle to our light, to my mesa, here and we're starting to do to the archetype we're working with this morning. Apuchin, great eagle, condor, archetype of the rising sun, the place of our becoming. Seeing from high above the vision of clarity and beauty, the great wings of the eagle hold the heart. Teach us to see with eyes of the heart. It's that one that nudges us out of the nest to spread our own wings so that we always fly wing to wing with great spirit. As you're relaxing there now, picture, visualize, imagine this relaxation coming down your body the top of your head. Bring it down onto your forehead. Down around your eyes, nose, cheeks, chin. All the muscles in and around your jaw, they are now relaxed. Now down the back of your head, down to your neck. You neck, all the muscles of your shoulders relaxing. Then down your arms, down to your elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, out the end of your fingertips, relaxed and letting go. Allow, bring that relaxation down the front of your body, down your chest, down to your stomach, abdomen. And then your lower back, so your back, upper back, middle back, lower back, relax. Down your waist into your hips, and down your legs, front of your thighs, back of your thighs, relax. Down to your calves, feet, relax. All the muscles in your body now relaxing and letting go. Now being aware of your breath, of your breathing. Just breathing just a little bit deeper without it being forced. I feel the sensations of your breath moving in and out of your body, your nose or your mouth. Feel as your abdomen expands and contracts with each breath. Now for the counts of two, we'll breathe in for two, hold for two, out for two, hold for two. Here we go, breathing in. One, two, hold. One, two, out. One, two, hold. One, two, breathing in. One, two, hold. the count of four. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out. Hold. Keep going. In.
last time. Yeah, take your breathing back to your normal breathing rhythm. Picture, visualize, imagine coming up from the top of your head a light, a special light, a color of the rainbow, any color of your choice. Could be a bright color or a soft color. Any color coming up from the top of your head, coming up and out and around you, surrounding your body, and this light now is filled with peace, love, light. Healing and protection. Yes, peace, love, light, healing and protection. Coming out from the top of your head and surrounding you now. I just spread this light out now. Spread it out around the room or the space that you're in. Spreading this color of peace, of love, of light, healing and protection. Mm. as you're giving out, giving back to our world, our Mother Earth, our Pachamama. Spread this light now out further now, from your head out and around you, around your home, your apartment, or the buildings that you're in. Spreading this colour out like sound waves from a source spreading out. Now, out further around your neighborhood, sharing, spreading this color, this peace, love, light, healing, and protection here now. Now, from your neighborhood, out around your village, your town, and your city, sharing, spreading this light around there now, coming from you. And sharing this peace, love, light, healing, protection. Now further, now taking it around your nation, your country. And then neighboring nations, neighboring countries, spreading this light around. Peace, love, light, healing, protection coming from the top of your head. And then taking it all around Pachamama, all around Mother Earth. Seeing, feeling, sensing this colour of peace, of love, light, healing, protection, all the way around there now, coming from you, you sharing this out. I'd like you now to take and send extra energy to the areas of conflict in our world. Send extra energy there now to areas of conflict that we know about, to areas of conflict that we're not being told about. Areas closer to home, friends, family, relations. That's good. Bring yourself back in now, being mindful of aware of your connection to, to your seat, to your cushion, or where you're lying down. Being mindful of 
that you are held by gravity, held safely, securely in a space. Sitting here, I'm honoured to have your presence, this opportunity to guide you. So let's begin. You desire to make healthy eating choices. Breads, rice, sugars never agree with your body. You want to wake up early for a morning run. So that means going to bed early. You want to be able to make decisions for yourself and not worry about inconveniencing, conveniencing anybody. You want to be consistent and professional. So always changing your plans just to appease others actually works for you. You want to break down any barriers causing you disconnect from others regarding your business. In order to achieve these desires, you must become relaxed and then focus on what it is that you really want, what you really need in your life. It is up to you to dedicate time every single day to make the necessary efforts towards your goals. So say firmly to yourself, my intent is to wake up early, quit sugar and all food that turn to sugar. Get rid of any blocks that I feel regarding all my needs, personal needs, business needs. I make necessary plans without feeling like I inconvenience others because this is the recipe for success. I know. I am able to talk to many people so that my business flourishes. In order to do this, I am completely honest with myself and others. Getting done all that needs to be done with balance and ease. as you're here in this comfortable position. Give yourself now the time to breathe your very best. For most of us, we go entire days without even thinking about our breath. Yet it is the very thing keeping us alive. The breath never asks questions, so it never judges you. It simply does what is required instantaneously. Let's honour our breath now and all that it gives us by taking Five significant and purposeful breaths. Here we go. One. Inhale. Expanding your belly and chest as you can. Holding it for a moment. And exhale. Feeling a wave of relaxation sweep over you. Two. Inhale. Filling your entire Breathing system with fresh 
oxygen. Hold it. And exhale. Noticing again that wave of relaxation gently sweeping over you. Three. Inhale very deeply so that you're brimming with air. Taking a moment at the top to soaking in the life force we call oxygen. <sighs> Exhale, noticing your body relaxing in different areas without any effort from you. Four, inhale fully the life force. Yeah. Beginning to feel these breaths purifying your entire body. <sighs> Exhaling now. Not having to do anything at all. Yeah. Just notice how you are feeling. And five, last one. A full, beautiful breath coming in. Hold it. Feeling the goodness of this simple task. Ah, and exhale. Allowing that wave of relaxation to sweep again over you. Just take a note of how you are feeling in this very moment. You now have an abundance of oxygen. This is how we truly create and feel. Breathing deeply and fully is an expression of self-compassion. Let your breath be natural now. And notice how abundant feels this abundance, how it feels for you, guys. This is your new tool so that you use when faced with feelings of blockages or worries. You immediately pause and take five deep, purposeful and powerful breaths that allow you to relax. Taking these conscious and dedicated breaths makes it even difficult for you to be unbalanced. Next time you catch yourself at a standstill, you must take these five healing breaths. As you ease into a state of complete relaxation, Allowing your inner conscious mind, your subconscious mind, allowing for any changes to take place. As you become aware of your body, feel the space around you. Notice how the space around you hugs to your shape. Notice the feeling of your weight pressing down. And see if you can feel the earth below you as if it's pressing up, supporting you. Noticing all these thoughts and feelings around you. Being aware of your whole body, every part of your body, as you're relaxing deeper and deeper. I'm going to tell you something very important, and you will deeply hear the words that I have to say, and they will affect your life for the better. For the better for, for you now. You are completely aware every level of your mind and even though your body may feel relaxed. These things are going to tell you. Change your life for the better. Eating healthy is the first step in becoming healthy and is a lifetime commitment. You choose to eat whole foods and completely eliminate sugar and breads. 
you never purchase packaged foods that have too many ingredients. Even though you may think these things taste good, they're not good for our bodies. You scour all areas where food is kept. Cabinets, the freezer, the refrigerator. You throw out all foods that contain any sugar. Bread and rice turn directly into sugar. So throw out all of these items as well. Eliminate eating out so often and take out food. Each day you strive to cook at home and you enjoy this new task. Cooking healthy at home. And you enjoy this new task. Cooking healthy food has replaced any concerns about eating sugar and breads. And you see immediate results and how much joy cooking brings you. Exercise is also very important. You start your day by going maybe on early runs outdoors, passing through or by some nature. When you run, you gaze at the plants and trees and feel them supporting you in your journey. They do provide you with oxygen after all. You notice a troublesome thought that's coming your way. Look at nature and appreciate its oxygen and take a deep breath. Breathing and exercise remove toxins from your body and heal us in every way. Here are some basics to cultivating balanced and healthy relationships. It's important to care about others, but you must be cared for as well. Others appreciate you when you're completely honest with them, and others appreciate you when you are completely honest with yourself by taking care of your own needs. It's healthy and important to not extend yourself too far in any circumstance. You feel completely free to let others handle what they need to take care of, concentrating on the tasks you need to complete. Your business requires a lot of social interaction in many ways. You have an excellent understanding of how to manage your time, perfectly fitting into every day all that you need to accomplish. You take care of a business priorities first without getting distracted by other tasks. Each person you speak with is an achievement. Your business thrives when you teach and when you tend to each person with clarity one by one. Notice how you're feeling. Hear yourself saying, I go to bed early and with ease so that when I arise, I am well rested and ready for my morning run through nature. I find myself again by expressing my needs honestly and with loved ones, taking on early as much as I can handle. I never feel inconvenienced by friends and family because I set firm boundaries with what I allow myself to take on. So my business ventures, helping others succeed is crucial for my success. I do this easily and with confidence. I see clearly the tasks I need to complete and I do so efficiently and effortlessly. Others admire me because I exude integrity, because I am honest with my words and inner feelings. I am welcomed on social media sites and I exude confidence when communicating regarding business. Others value me because I greatly value myself. I am consistent and professional, sticking to plans that I create. 
I feel completely free to kindly say, And no one asks too much of me. Even though I feel tempted to eat breads and sugars, I choose healthy foods instead. My body always thanks me for this choice. When I have free time, I research healthy foods to eat and which foods to avoid. Balancing family and business is very important to me, so I always take care of my needs first creating a wave of harmony. In order to change all that I desire, I simply practice my techniques that build healthy habits every single day, without skipping a day. And notice how you feel. Good. Good in knowing that you've done such a good job today. Good job with this meditation. Good job being who and what you really are. And taking time now, just a few moments of gratitude. Think of all the things that you're grateful for in your life. That's good. Good. Relax and if you wanted to carry on meditating, just turn the volume down, please do. Just relaxed, letting go. In a moment now, I'll count from one to five, and when I reach the count of number five and not before, I'll say the word up and you'll be fully aware, feeling calm, rested, refreshed, relaxed, here, feeling wonderfully good. One. one, slowly, calmly, easily, gently, turn your full awareness once again. To every muscle, nerve and fibre in your body be feeling loose and limp and relaxed, feeling wonderfully good. Three, from head to toe, feeling perfect in every way. Physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. And before your eyes reveal sparkling clears of bathe in the cool spring mountain stream. Number five, now open your eyes. Take a deep breath, fill up your lungs, stretch. Move that body a little bit and smile. Well done. Taking care of yourself and your body. Being fit and healthy. That's a priority for you now. So, so very important. Ah, this meditation available to you on YouTube and I'll put the link in below in a little while. Available for today and a little bit longer on Facebook and LinkedIn. Listen to this every day for the week. Let it sink in to reinforce those thoughts and feelings that we've been working with. Allow this to be a part of you, a part of you now, before we start another meditation for next week. That's good. Now let's close, us, close up our sacred space, our world culture. Let's start by, by folding up the Folds of a blanket all around our eye and our family, our class. Bring them back up to our eighth chakra above our head. Feel this tingling sensation, this golden or golden globe of light. Bring down only what is for our highest good now, down into our body. And then bring that extra down, a little bit extra for Pachamama, for much needed healing. Now bring up our own Guru culture. Bring up this fold of the sacred space, bringing it up again into this eighth chakra area. Only for our highest good, bring it down into our energy centers and our energy areas. All the way. And take it a little bit extra for Pachamama. Good. Remember to reset your chakras, going through all seven chakras. Go anti-clockwise first, five or six times. Imagine you're pulling out any sludge, wash it under the shower. Go into the next one, pulling it out, washing it under the shower. Go through all seven, and then resetting them in a clockwise direction. Going clockwise, seven times, swirling them out, washing your hands clean and clear. Resetting, seven times, resetting all your chakras, re-energizing your body. Well done. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week.
It's fantastic to spend some time with you. Namaste. Aho. And with love, bye for now.